Hello, and welcome to today's webinar, CAD Learning, Getting Started with the Basics. This webinar is brought to you by Applied Software, the premier software systems integrator in North America. My name is Amy Worthy, and I'm delighted to be your moderator today. Throughout our presentation, we encourage you to interact with us by typing in questions and comments in the question pane. We will be answering questions at the end of the presentation. Please take a moment to introduce yourself in the chat pane. We want to know who you are, where you're located, and anything interesting you'd like to share with us. This webinar is being recorded and will be available to you online on our YouTube channel. We will also send you an email following the webinar with a link to the recording. Next slide. If you haven't already, search Applied Software on Facebook and like our page to receive the latest information and special offers. When you visit our website, asti.com, there is a complete schedule of upcoming events, webinars, trainings, and more. Next slide. Please take note of our upcoming webinars. Um, Autodesk Vehicle Tracking on Tuesday, October 18th. Destiny Estimator Suite on Thursday, October 20th, and BIM Requirements for Owners on Tuesday, October 25th. Um, also take note of our upcoming events. We have BIM and Beer in Atlanta on Tuesday, October the 18th at Gordon Beer Schmidtown, and Ask the Experts in Birmingham on Wednesday, October 19th at Urban Standard. Next slide. At the conclusion of our webinar, a survey will pop up. Complete the survey to be entered into a $25 Amazon gift card giveaway. You must complete the survey to be entered into the drawing. All right, and now I will turn it over to Danielle Grindle, our CAD learning expert, um, to get started. Great, thank you very much, Amy. Go ahead and show my screen. Amy, can you just confirm you're seeing my screen now? I can see it. Excellent. So thank you all for joining us today. I'm Danielle Grindle. I'm the Channel Sales Manager here at CAD Learning. And I'm going to give you a tour of the CAD Learning subscription for individuals and what's available to you. So I'm logged in to um, our CAD Learning portal. You'll actually log into ASTI's portal. It looks just like ours, except the logo is a little different. All of the content is the same. I'm logged in as a user here, and I can come here and change my um, user password. That's the only thing you need to know about as far as being a user. As far as the um, content that's available to you as a user. Um, you can see in the center of the screen we have our content box and it contains a number of different product categories within uh, each individual tile represents a product category and then within those tiles are courses that are available for that particular product. If I have a more icon it's an indication that there's more courses available. As you can see, it's quite extensive. We cover close to 50 different Autodesk titles with over 40,000 video e-tutorials in our library. Now, as a user, if you wanted to access a course, you'd simply click on the course name. So I'll go ahead and click on one so you can see a course and you'd be able to access the individual course. We're going to come back to that. Let's just continue on with the home page interface. You also have available to you a user transcript, and your user transcript is any assessment that you've started or completed. As you can see, I've completed some. Please don't judge me on my assessment scores. I simply guessed. I can see my complete transcript. These are any assessments that I have completed in full. Print that out, and I can also drill down to any assessment. And we'll come back to how those assessments work for you um, during the demonstration. Going back to my user homepage, I also have a recent activity pane. These are my last five videos that I've viewed. You'll notice that some of the videos list multiple courses. That's because the videos are available in more than one course. And if you've watched this video, it'll actually mark it in each of those courses. So you don't spend your time watching the same video um, more times than you need to. 
At the bottom of the screen, I also get an indication for any courses that I've started as to how far along I am. So um, the number, the first number, 11 for Revit 2017, is the number of videos that I've watched. And there is a total of 710 videos in that actual course. Lastly, I get a high-level view here of the most popular videos um, across uh, the organization. Now, coming back to my content box, the way uh, information is arranged for you as a user is when you first come in, it presents based on the entire um, ASTI CAD Learning user base, what they're using most. As you use CAD Learning, um, your course that you get to the most will bubble up to the top of the hierarchy. So in my instance, I'm, I'm in Revit more than anything. Now let's go ahead and drill into a course. I'm going to open up Revit Architecture 2017, and we'll go through the course layout. Every course is laid out in individual topics, and within our topics, are bite-sized videos. Our videos are typically two to five minutes in length, so you can get to what you need as quickly as you um, can. You can follow a CAD learning course um, in a self-paced scenario where you go through an entire course, or um, you can also use it for support purposes or refresher training. Each of our courses includes an overall knowledge assessment and a skills assessment. So if you're already using um, the application, you might want to start here. Our overall knowledge assessments that cover features and functions within the application. They're more of, of a recall type of test for you. And then the skills assessment is, do you know how to drive the software? You have to actually open up a file within the application, perform a specific function or task in order to answer that question. Very similar in format to the way Autodesk certification exams work, if you're familiar with those. So I could go through and take this assessment so you can get an idea of how it works. I'm not going to complete the whole assessment, but as you can see, it's telling me open up the project skill test RVT file. Before I can answer the question, I have to do something in the application. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And what these assessments actually do for you is they build your own personalized playlist based on your incorrect answers. So it's a good place to start. I'll go ahead and open up my Dynamo assessment since it's completed. And as you can see, when I come in, it tells me this is how many I got right out of 10. Uh, that's uh, sometimes one of my better scores. And then for each question that I got wrong, it's telling me this is the video you should go ahead and take a look at. So it recommends videos just for me as a user. From there, I can create a playlist. of those videos, so now I have my own personal playlist based on just what I don't know in the application. And I can work off these as opposed to going through the entire course. You'll notice when I created that playlist, there's some additional buttons that appear. So as I go through these videos, I can come back and I can reassess myself based on my wrong answers. So it, it allows you as a user to really improve your skills within an application, improve your knowledge retention. So when you go back into a projection or a project scenario, uh, you're able to apply those skills in the application. So on the fly, we're creating a dynamic assessment for you as the user. And again, I won't go through this, but just so you can see how it works, so you can use the application to your advantage. So go ahead and save that. So that's how the assessments work. Let's go back into our course. You'll notice when I come into a course, it tells me exactly how many lessons there are, the length of the course. It tells me how many lessons I've viewed. I can come in and I can expand the entire course out. And I can see what videos I've viewed by the check mark beside them. So if I am working in a self-paced scenario, I can see exactly where I left off. Now, 
anywhere you see this icon is an indication that you can um, drag and drop a video into a playlist. So I'm going to start a new playlist here. As a user, you can have as many playlists as you want. And we'll call this my Revit list. And to build my list, I'm going to go ahead and filter down. Maybe I'm just interested in um, stairs, for example, I, and I want to build a playlist. Or maybe um, you find that you always need to come back to the specific video because you just don't um, can't can't recall how to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and drag these videos up and build my playlist. I can put them in any order I want. And I can have as many videos as I want in a playlist. I can also pull from different CAD learning courses. So uh, maybe for you MEP um, users out on the line, it, maybe you have a workflow scenario where you go through Revit MEP and then you run um, the model through a clash detection or something. You could pull videos from Navisworks to build out that workflow for yourself. If I want to watch a video, I simply click on the video link. So let's go ahead and click on a video. And I'm going to just pause the instructor, Jason Boning, for a moment and point out a few things. Uh, first off, all of our uh, video tutorials are labeled as to whether they're beginner, intermediate, or advanced. When you come into a video, you are also shown the video prior or the um, next video in the sequence. So you get an idea of where you are in context of, of the course. Maybe you need that next video or prior one. I also want to point out the tra um, transcript over on the right-hand side. This is a scrolling script that goes along with the instructor. If perhaps I know I need a particular point in the video, I can click anywhere in the script to get to that point in the video. I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen. And a couple of things I'd like to point out here. Let me just restart the video for you. And we'll go ahead and, and um, turn the sound here off as well, too. I'm having a little trouble with my mouse navigation. Here we go. So the things I'd like to point out with the video is, first of all, the clarity of a CAD learning video. You will always know exactly where the instructor is within the application. There are call-outs. There are highlights. Um, we make every point to make sure that you as the user always know what the instructor is doing. I also can turn on closed captioning here. Um, so if I learn best by both reading along with the instructor and watching, it gives me that ability. And then also, of course, for those that are hard of hearing, and for those of you in an office where speakers and headsets are frowned upon, uh, this is a nice option to have as well. Now, I can also adjust the quality of the video right here in the, in the corner, too. That may be difficult to come over the go to meeting. We typically auto adjust to whatever device you're using. I'll go ahead and close that down. And now I already have this video in my list, but if I wanted to add it, I could go ahead and just drag and drop it. So anywhere you see this indication means you can drag into the video. So I'm I'm back in my course here, and one thing I do want to point out is our ability to do global search. So um, you can search across all CAD learning content. I'm going to go ahead and just type in Timeliner. Maybe I have a question in Navisworks, I need help. So I very quickly built a list using global search. I can filter that down. I only want 2016. Oh, you know, I think I want to add this to my video. Now, the view, uh, my playlist, the beauty of this is I can go right to the course and get to the video and also see it within the context of, of the actual course. And if I want to watch it, I can go ahead and watch it as well.
So let's go ahead back to the home page. We've covered the course. We've looked at our assessments and creating playlists. You also can share playlists. So if you are in ASTI's CAD Learning uh, portal and you know another user that's within the portal, you can share that playlist um, with another user. The only requirement is that they are part of that portal. So you just type in their email, add them, and invite them. Now, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this screen for a moment. One of the things that you is included with your subscription is the CAD Learning plugin. The CAD Learning plugin runs um, in AutoCAD-based applications like AutoCAD MEP, AutoCAD Architecture, Civil 3D, uh, Plant 3D, PNID, etc., and also in all of Revit. So I'm going to go ahead and bring up my screen right now of the CAD Learning plugin. I'm in AutoCAD 2017. The CAD Learning plugin will actually install in your add-in menu. So here it is right here, just like any other add-in. And over here is my plugin. I'm going to go ahead and log into it. It behaves just like any other Autodesk palette, so I can hide it. Um, if I don't want it to show up at the screen, I can um, dock it somewhere else on the screen, make it bigger, make it smaller, etc. Let me see which. So I've logged in, and the way the palette works is based on what you're doing in the application. The CAD Learning plugin will react to that. So let's say, for example, I go to my mirror command. It immediately brings me back results related to that command. If I want to watch a video, I simply click on the video link. Now I still have full search here, so if I don't see the video I'm looking for, I can go ahead and type in the search term, and it'll go back to the CAD Learning course and bring me back any other related videos. If I move over to the Array command, again, the videos are going to update based on what I'm doing in the application. So this is really a, a performance support tool for you in that it's learning for you right at the point of need, uh, which we really feel this is, is the star um, in our solution because that's where you're going to learn best and that's where you're going to get the most productivity from a tool like CAD Learning is to have it right there in the application for you. Now, if I want to view a video, I simply click on it, as I said. It launches within the application. I can also launch it um, in another browser window and view it there as well. I seem to have a little bit of a slow connection through the GoToMeeting. Here we go. But again, the same video content um, that's in the CAD Learning portal that ASTI provides to you, um, just delivered to you in a different manner. So this is part of a CAD Learning subscription. I'm going to go ahead and close that video down. So that's what's included with um, your subscription with ASTI. All right, and I'd like to turn it back and see if there's any questions on the line. All right, thank you, Danielle. Um, the only question that we've had so far is, um, can you show what's available for Autodesk Fabrication and CamDuck as well as um, SMEP? Um, and if you could just go over, do an overview of all of the fabrication offerings, that would be great. So as far as fabrication, um, right now we do not have um, Autodesk uh, Fab MEP products. We do have Revit MEP, and our understanding um, is eventually Autodesk is going to move that um, the way of, of Revit. Um, certainly 
it's something we're keeping uh, an eye on, uh, but the, the FAB products today, I, I don't have those available. All right. Um, and if there are any other questions, just go ahead and type those into the question pane now. Um, we'll give you a minute to do that. All right, it doesn't look like there are any more questions. Oh, um, how is CAD learning access? Um, he missed the beginning. Um, sure, so you would pr get access through ASTI, um, and it's cloud-based and web-based, so you simply need a subscription with a login and a password. So I've logged in here. I'm on our CAD learning site, but you would get access through ASTI. And it's all cloud-based and web-based. So does that answer the question? Um, I, I believe you offer it as part of a subscription um, yes. for Autodesk. Is that Correct, Amy? Yes, that is correct. Um, and we have a question about the subscription cost. Just one moment. All right, we have Rachel in the background answering um, questions about cost and things like that. Um, and Newman says he's been waiting on the um, fabrication offerings. <laughs> um, is it possible to use the testing to evaluate candidates? And not with an individual subscription, no. All right. I'm just going to give a little more time to see if there's any more questions. Um, all right, um, and to answer the subscription question for everyone to know, um, subscriptions are unique to your product with Autodesk. But as long as you renew your subscription with applied software, you have access to CAD learning. Um, <clears throat> and I believe that is all of the questions. Um, so we will go ahead and end today's webinar. Um, in a moment, our webinar survey will pop up. Complete the survey to be entered in a $25 Amazon gift card giveaway. You must complete the survey in order to be entered into the drawing. The survey will take only a couple of seconds to complete. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you found this webinar informative and helpful to your business. We look forward to seeing you on a future webinar. Thank you.